Get heaven coming at you with the H on my peace. Hey, thanks for subscribing, all my new subscribers to my channel. Thanks everybody for following. Today we're gonna do a review on a tequila that we actually had at Christmas time, but I never did a review on it. Um, it was very popular at the Christmas party, and so it, it, it got drank. So anyway, I ordered this bottle, Old Town Tequila, and uh, it kind of came in, and we're gonna do a little uh, review of it. So let me give you a little history. So La Santa means the saint, all right? So this was named after five generation of tequila makers in, um, in an area called, it's a kind of a cool place, the Arandas area in Jalisco, okay? So that's where this is made. And uh, five generations, and they named this in honor of their mother. Okay, so this, check this out, all right? So you see this stuff inside of there? Okay, it's also got this little up light, okay, on the bottom, check this out. It's like three different like settings. So these are gold flakes in here, supposedly 24 karat gold flakes, and it's good for um, arthritis, it's good for your immune system, it's got antioxidants in it, so, uh, and anti-inflammatory. So there you go, all these healthy qualities in this tequila. So. Um, this is done very traditionally. They like to really promote how they do it very naturally, which is very important that they don't do a lot of additives. I'm a big fan of authentic tequila. Uh, it's aged, so six years they grow the agave and then they cook it in brick uh, clay ovens. Very traditional, they've tried a lot of different methods. They age it in both French oak and American oak barrels for 12 months, okay? That's the story behind it, super cool, but that's not all the story, okay? So what's really cool is that this Japanese musician came up with this classical music that they play in where they age it. So it supposedly gets like this cool music that resonates and it intones and harmonizes and harmonizes with the tequila and it makes it super good and super smooth. So, um, what else can I tell you? Um, passionate, super passionate about it. So this is a Cristalino, all right? So what they do is they filter it through charcoal, okay? So after 12 months, they'll filter it. And then the only additive they do is they put 24 karat gold in there. I mean, who's not to like that? Anti-aging, antioxidants, Drink tequila, make it healthy. So anyway, we're gonna open this puppy up. Let's see. I remember it was very, very good. That's why I wanted to do this review, to share the kind of the knowledge about it. So let's see what kind of tones we get. Okay. Cool. Mmm, it's got a nice, nice flavor to it. It's uh, citrusy, you get citrus. Um, you know, you get the agave right away. You get the French oak aging. I smell more French oak than American oak. French oak gives it a little bit more of a vanilla kind of nose to it. So cool, all right. We got some gold moving around, so this should, this should have some gold flecks in it. Yep, it certainly does. I'm feeling younger already, all right. Okay, here we go. Okay, good nose to it. A little stronger now. A little bit more pronounced, obviously. You can put your nose in this. These are nice glasses right here to taste. So you can swirl it around, let it breathe a little bit. Let's go for it. Mm-hmm. A little peppery. Um, it's kind of like almost like a little cocoa, a little cocoa flavor. Um, it's got a little bite to it, which I like. So it, it kind of stays with your palate, which is really good. Um, tangy, I mean, I don't know if that's ever been a word used to describe tequila, but it's kind of tangy. Mm. Yeah, interesting profile. Um, 
Yeah, it's really cool. It's got a really nice profile to it, everybody. Um, I've been out there to Tequila Matchmaker. It's, uh, you know, gets a variety of reviews. You know, I like the story. You gotta, everybody's got your own palette, so you gotta always try them on your own. Explain your tequila life right out here. Check it out. So, price point, it's a little high. It's kind of hard to find. It's about 170 for a bottle of this, so, you know, this probably isn't your go-to every night sitting in front of your Netflix. So, um, but I think to keep it on the bar, it's got, a, it's got an interesting, you know, kind of stays with you again. So, I had to have my master producer do some translating because I tried to go to the English website and it kept on going to Spanish. So, we learned a lot about this tequila. It comes from Nam 1414. You can go look at some of the other uh, tequilas that come from there. So, um, I like it. It's, it's really unique. I mean, my own personal palette is like, this is pretty cool to share. I'm not sure it's going to be my go-to every night though. So, um, not going to give it necessarily a, a, a rating. You know, I can see why they probably do about seven to eight is kind of the rating on Tequila Matchmaker. Um, it's got an interesting flavor to it. So anyway, my peeps, again, thanks for subscribing to my channel. There's your review on La Santa, which means the saint. Tequila Jefe with an H is out.